you know, I like to have fun with these astrologies and this guy, uh, Rob Bresney, he's actually a really, a really intelligent guy, clearly. And, you know, I like to have fun and, and, uh, and, you know, kind of make fun of people's names. But Rebecca Solnit, she really did say something interesting. She, she said pain serves a purpose. Um, and, you know, wisdom is wisdom, you know, whether you're, um, whether you're a, um, uh, Scorpio, Capricorn, wisdom is wisdom. Even the Bible says that the rocks will cry out. Um, and, you know, sometimes you can just, you can, you never know where you're going to find good wisdom and just, you know, I know whoever's watching this or wherever you're at, and I would love to hear where you're at. If you are, um, you know, if you're in the United States or who, where, you know, the power of the internet. And if I could just with my, my channel, my YouTube channel, bring some light, some levity, some, some wisdom to your life, then, then, um, I can say that it's worthwhile, uh, because you never really give anything away. You always, um, you know, you, you, you don't really have something until you give it away. So a lot of times whenever I'm reading about wisdom, I'm really just offering myself that. And then if you can benefit, then that makes, that makes us, uh, unified or that makes us friends. So Scorpio, it says pain serves a purpose. Without it, we are in danger. And a lot of times we spend our t our lives trying to, um, avoid pain. You know, again, any Enneagram 7 if you're an Enneagram type person. But again, let's just read it. It says, um, pain does serve a purpose. There is a purpose in pain. With that, with that in mind, Scorpio, I urge you to take full advantage um, of the suffering you're experiencing. Treat it as a gift and honor it as a blessing to rise above the mediocre, abusive circumstances that you have been tolerating. You know, um, I think there's a lot of wisdom in that. So, Rob Bresney, again, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right these are really good and you know whether you're a Aquarius have Capricorn Aries it really doesn't matter to me wisdom is wisdom and you know a lot of times when people go through pain um, the first response is to hate it to want to run run from it but really it can transform us into a better place if we honor it and so wherever you're at whether you're by the by a river in Colorado or you're in La Jolla or you're in New York or Oklahoma City or Chickasha it doesn't really matter um, what I really want to encourage you to do is just to honor, honor pain, every pain that you have, every disappointment you have, every, uh, you know, there's, I've really have, um, really gone into, uh, some, some places in my own life where pain from my childhood, I've never really, really dealt with, uh, abuse, uh, things that I could clearly say was abuse, religious abuse. Uh, again, those are, that's my story, but, um, you know, one of my favorite theologians, Richard Rohr, who uh, did, has done groundbreaking work on the Enneagram, you know, he says something. He said, uh, we're either going to transfer our pain or we're going to transform it. We're either going to become a butterfly and look at pain as a chrysalis or we are going to um, uh, just transfer it from generation to generation to generation. And if you're, uh, if you're like me, you know, most of what I've seen is transferring pain one generation in its ignorance and, and, and uh, ineptitudes will transfer that pain to the next generation and the next generation and you know whether you believe in the Bible or not sometimes you know when you when you look at generational curses it really is just one generation never really finding healing and transferring that pain to, to the subsequent generation so I want to be a part of transforming pain uh, going into the chrysalis uh, and to, uh, to arise um, um, as new creations and and I think that's what the promise of uh, uh, of the life of Jesus really is 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 death burial and resurrection and a lot of times we focus on the death but we're not really really honoring uh, the um, the uh, the resurrection and that's what the promise of, of the Bible for me is and and one and so how do we do it, it sounds good doesn't it and it's wisdom and learning how to let wisdom into our lives and let it blow into our lives you guys have a great day. Heal.